Hi everyone, I'm Little Pokey Girl, and today I'm going to be opening the Rapid Strike Booster Box. I'm also going to be opening one Breakpoint Pack, three Sun and Moon Packs, and also one Galar Tin. Let's get opening. So, in my last video, I opened the single strike booster box. So this time in this video, I am opening the rapid strike. So let's get open. It has a little lip thing on the bottom, kind of easier to open it. All right. Okay. These out of the way as we will be opening those after the box. And let's get this box opened. Right. So, as you can see, the box is different than the American style. Um, for the American, it comes in one big box for both. Like, both sets come in one. And for the Korean, they decided to split it up into two smaller boxes for each set. It comes with 70 cards, 5 cards per pack, and it also comes with 36 packs. So, yeah. I'm going to pack a little shuffle. Alright, so we'll split it up into two piles. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty, so let's open pack one. So these packs do come with like a little hair way thing. For the red pack, it didn't seem to work, but let's see, maybe it'll work for these ones. No, it kind of did give us like a little leverage point, I guess. Oh, well, kind of made it a little easier. Maybe we'll just uh, use a little leverage. So that's the uh, Korean, uh, I think it's a co-card. But on the other hand, I'm not 100% sure. The other box had them as well. Alright, so for these ones, we don't do the card trick because there was only five per pack. Alright, so we have a core fish. We have an onyx. We have a... Honestly, I'm not 100% sure the name of this one. So... Very cute little Pokemon though, little cherry. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure of the name of this one either, but it's actually a pretty cool looking Pokemon as well. Almost looks like it's like doing the little um, the dance that you do use the like ribbons. <laughs> then we just have another little just a trainer. All right. Let's see, there we go. It's open. So from the last box, we pulled. Okay, my back's a little itchy. But we pulled um, the Your Fish, the Your Shifu, sorry. Um, v, V Max, and also the Full Art. So let's see if maybe we can do it in this box as well. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to have all six. Uh, that's Corefish's Evolve, I'm not sure. Uh, Crondunt is his name. It is a Rapid Strike one. Alright. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the Evolve of that last Pokemon, to be honest. And it's also a Rapid Strike. Oh, awesome! And we have Corviknight V. It's actually a very cool uh, Pokemon. All right, guys, for our third pack. Um, the new Brilliant Diamond, the Shining Pearl, and also Legends Acres video game it is a new series that is going to be coming to like Game Boy and also the Switch. It's basically just a remake of um, the Diamond and Pearl and all of those um, old games, so it'd be kind of cool to kind of take a look at them and you know, just see how 
they are, see if they're anything alike of the older ones or not. And we have an octillery uh, hollow. He has a rare as well. It's actually a pretty cool looking octillery. All right. But yeah, don't forget to check out the new video games I'm making. Okay, the pack number four. You know what? I'm just going to move this garbage and put it right on the floor. It's not in my way. That pack almost opened completely. All right. And the little co-card thing again. That's upside down. There you go. As you see, they're like a little different for each one. This is almost like instructions on how to play the game Let's just get that little toss over there all right so i'm honestly not sure the name of this one is kind of a cute little uh, pokemon to be honest <laughs> all right and then we have a core fish again we have a taurus um we have a trainer he is a single strike trainer. Sorry, not single strike. Oh, rapid strike. <laughs> oh, and we have a. I'm honestly not sure of his name. It's kind of a cool looking Pokemon, though. Hmm. A really cool looking Pokemon. He's a hollow bear. Get him put into a sleeve. In the next pack. Alrighty. Floor. And a little flow card thing. Oh, that's cool. This one's the uh, little list for uh, Rapid Strike. Alrighty. It's pretty cool. Alright. Flip it over. Lizopede. I'm honestly not sure the name, but uh, he is a rapid strike. We have a trainer. Oh. We have the rapid strike. Uh, I'm not sure it's the name again, but uh, yeah. That's a cool card. Alrighty. On to the next pack. Oh gosh. I'm not wanting it to come out. Try opening it a little bit more. Alrighty. Oh gosh. There we go. Alrighty, so. This is a men show. I think I pronounced it right. We have a weeping bell. Um, we have a perugly. The name of that one is just so weird. I don't know why they decided to make actually a very pretty looking Pokemon into something so like not so pretty looking. Gyarados. Oh, sorry, that's not Gyarados, that's Seedra. Seedra. I totally mixed up the two. Oh. I forgot to do the code card. <laughs> but uh, then we have a... Sandaconda. There we go. Let's put him into a sleeve as he is a hollow. Always want to protect the cards. Alrighty, and for the next pack. So, there we go. On Poke TV, they have come out with a new series. They basically explained it as like follow Ash while he befriends and meets new green Pokemon. So, 
we'll have to see exactly what they mean by that by watching it but uh yeah we'll have to see and then we have girder and we have i remember his main his uh evolvi's name which is peregli for some reason i just can't remember his uh name all right then we have a very big lipped fish <laughs> it's kind of a cool looking fish kind of odd looking too all right and then we have a hmm i should know this one right on the tip of my tongue too there's Luxio. hmm no, it's not Luxio. I'm not exactly sure. Army 80. And then we have a Victory Bell. And we'll do the next pack. I'm kind of glad they put those little, like, triangle nick things in there. I'm not even sure if it's actually meant for opening. It should be, but I'm not 100% sure that the bottom pack to have it too. So I'm just kind of wondering if maybe they, like, come like that, attached. And that's just, like, the one spot how they kind of detach them. But... You never know. That's a co card. This one has like a little QR code. So maybe uh, try scanning that. See if anything comes from it. Alrighty. And then we have. I am not sure, but it's like a really cool looking Pokemon. You can see uh, a line going right down the entire card, though. So that would be a. Uh, factory line there but that's okay it's a good thing it's not a good card <laughs> all right and then we have a oh gosh i should know his name for some reason i just just, just like completely lost <laughs> all right sorry about that guys but yeah oh we have a galarian mr mime and then we have a trainer she is Rapid Strike. And then we have the Rapid Strike, um, Luxray. There we go. Ha. Came to mind. Alrighty. On to the next one. I don't mind this set too much. It's not a bad set. Some of the cards that you pull are actually, like, really cool looking and stuff, too, so... Go card to a little flip and we have a whipping, weeping bell oh that fish again it's those lips it's just got like these really triangle teeth but like these purple like perfect purple lips it's kind of <laughs> yeah there we go and we have another girder oh i'm not sure Kind of a cool looking Pokemon though, and almost like an octagon shape. Hmm. So weird. Oh, sorry. That's a Dotler. There we go. A Dotler. I will. Oh. Alright. That is awesome. Sweet. We have the. Nekrozima, Nekrozama, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but V. That is actually a very pretty card. Oh gosh, Let's see how the back is. Oh, the back's pretty perfect. I'm not sure why all of the Korean cards kind of come with this like little curve to them. Most of the time, I'll just put it like in between two big books, and the curve will be gone. But it does kind of suck that it comes with that little curve. Let's put him right into a sleeve. Alrighty. Sometimes just putting him into a sleeve will straighten him out too. Especially putting him into a hard sleeve. So let's try putting him into a hard sleeve. Try put getting him to straighten out a little bit. Oh, if I could ever get him in. Alright, sorry for the bang, guys. Here we go. And he's in. And again, the uh, necklace in my view. So far, we have the Cork, Cork Knight and the Necrozema. Alrighty. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Messy and 
falling everywhere. <laughs> All right, give it another little pull. Hmm, maybe we'll successfully go. Nope. Nope. Still not a successful whip all the way down. I think the cards kind of like interfere with it being able to have that perfect rip down the side. That's okay. Maybe I'll trust the little seal and open it that way. There we go. A little code card again. See, this one has a QR code. Those were upside down, so oh, these ones aren't. Alrighty. So we have a bell sprout. We have a Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure which that one is. I'm not a hundred percent sure I put the name of that one either. It's right on the tip of my tongue, but <laughs> and then we have an energy. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. We have a hollow steelix. Oh, that's actually really cool looking. It's very fierce. <laughs> that fierce look on his face. Alrighty. Alright, right into there. And for another one. There we go. All right, so we have the seahorse looking Pokemon again, spitting out his water, having some fun. We have a heat more. It's like, he looks like he's breathing it out, but it also just the way his face is down, almost like he's got a runny nose of fire. Like a lava runny nose. <laughs> All right, and we have a timber. Hmm. Oh, I think it's Jilligant. I'm pretty sure it's Jilligant. Might be pronouncing it wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's along those lines. All right. Then we have a Luxray Hollow. Rapid Strike. <laughs> there we go. That's actually pretty cool looking. Oh, and I forgot to do the code card again. Oh, gosh. There we go. Put him into a sleeve. And for the next pack, let's get her open. Alrighty. There we go. Get that gone. My little co card. And flip. And we have a bow sprout. Kind of cute looking. A mm, little. Yeah, it's just kind of cute looking. <laughs> All right, then we have a Shinx. Oh, gosh. I want to say it's Ball Toy. It is Ball Toy. Okay, I, I got that one right. Here we go. And then a trainer. And then we have Crunk Elder. Crunk Elder, sorry. Let's pronounce that wrong. Kind of cool looking Pokemon. Must be very strong to be able to carry cement around everywhere it goes. All right. Oh. And also, don't forget to check this set out. It's actually a pretty cool looking set. All the Pokemon and stuff that you get out of it and cards that you pull are actually pretty decent. If you make decks and stuff, they will actually really help your deck and stuff too. So yeah. And the core fish. Oh gosh. Dollar. And the trainer. Alrighty. And then out of the back. So, the main card you can get out of this half of the set is the two that we have pulled. The... Oh gosh, I'm never going to be able to pronounce it right or think I'm pronouncing it right. But the Corkvanite? Corkvanite? I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> the Nekozema. 
V. You can pull V Victini V and V Max. You can obviously pull the V Max of the two cards that we have pulled as well. Oh, that's a cool looking hollow. Um, you can also pull. Get this into a sleeve, but you can also pull an Empoleon V. You can pull Cinderance V. All kinds of cool Pokemon that they haven't really put into other sets. And obviously you can pull the your Fisher your your Shifu, sorry, uh V, V Max, Full Art, the Rainbow. So yeah. Oh gosh, this one wants to be difficult. There we go. Go card. Get out of our way. We have a Weeping Bell. Again, I'm not 100% sure of his name. Kind of a cool looking Pokemon, though. We have a Frillish. We have a Trainer. Got like a Pokemon on the very top. It's kind of cool. Alright. Oh, gosh. Right on the top of my tongue. I know it's Ball Toys Evolve. Hmm. Claydol. That's the name. Claydol. Sorry about that, guys. My back was a little itchy. <laughs> there we go. And another one. So I have been trying to get a little bit faster with the pulling and everything so the videos don't end up being two hours long with opening a full booster box or and more. So, yeah. And the poor ugly again. <laughs> and the trainer. Oh, that would be Mr. Mimes. Evolve. Which, I'll be honest, I didn't even realize he had. Hmm, it's kind of cool. A little mustache going on. Alrighty. You know, I will be honest, I... It must be like... They like... I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, they honestly, they must be like just recently made it because like I do know in the older ones I swear there wasn't no Mr. Mimey fall but I could be wrong there's a so, so Cobra the very big lipped pointy teeth fish we have going on Hanard as I remembered his name <laughs> all right I'm honestly not sure of this Pokemon's name. Kind of cool how they have a bunch in the uh, picture, though. Normally don't see that. They normally just put, like, the one or maybe sometimes two. Oh, sweet. We have the... Empoleon V. Wow. Actually a very pretty card. Oh my god. Gosh, as you can see, he has a rapid strike. Just look at him, so pretty. Alrighty, so yeah, that is the full art. I was thinking it was, but um, yeah, experience it. Yeah, alrighty, that is actually a very pretty card. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting to pull the Empoleon, but yeah. He's actually very pretty. He's got the little, uh... Oh, gosh, what was his name again? Like, got another little Pokemon in there in the back of them. It's kind of cool. Both doing the same pose. Alrighty. Or the next pack. Right, our little code card. Oh, that's the little list again. 
Get that out of our way. Alright. Oh, that's kind of a cool little Pokemon. Making a little uh, tea time. <laughs> Guess even Pokemon have to have tea time. Oh! And then we have the Luxio Hollow again. Which I still think is a very cool looking card. Looks very serious. Alrighty. Put him in the pile. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. I only have 11 packs left. Not bad. Let's get opening. All right. All right. A little Coke card again. That's kind of cool. It's, uh, the deck boxes. All right. Here we go. A Cherubi. I think it's Remoraid. And he is a Rapid Strike. We have the ball toy again. We have the Victory Bell. Oh. And that is... I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of cool looking, to be honest. Hmm. I do know a Sizzlepeed's uh, Evolve. I don't know why I just put him into a sleep. I guess it's one of those days, guys. <laughs> All right, let's get into another pack. All righty. Let's have a whole pile of uh, <laughs> packs on unopened packs on the floor now. It's kind of gonna be a mission to get around those. I'm like, getting out of here. <laughs> All righty. We have a timber, energy, and we have Lorantis. Pretty sure his name is, is Lorantis. Such a cool, pretty looking Pokemon. I like how they made it like super pink. Not the favorite fan of pink, but on the other hand, which is like almost like a girlier type Pokemon. Like, if you're a girl trainer, definitely would want that Pokemon, you know? <laughs> Alrighty. So, I'm not sure if you guys know. If you do, then that's awesome. But if you don't, then just a little heads up for you guys. The Players' Cup 3 finales will be on Twitch and YouTube. There. The regionals are going to be on the 10th to the 11th in April. And then the global is going to be on the 23rd and 25th of April. You can catch all the uh, best Pokemon players in the world playing their uh, games and stuff, right? So yeah, it'd be kind of cool to watch. I think I might click in and see exactly what's going on. See who becomes the winner this year. Alrighty. Gonna flip. And we have the sleeping onyx. Oh, he's not sleeping. Unless I pull the Victini V, then that would be even better. Alrighty. And Corefish's Evolve. Crawdunt. We have the Heatmore with a runny nose. At least that's what I think it is. <laughs> Alrighty. We have... Vermontus. I think I might be saying that right. Vermontus. Sure. Seedra. We have a trainer. Oh, and
And then we have the code card because I forgot to uh, put the code card aside again. My bad. Alrighty. So we have three and two. So we have five packs left, guys, out of this box. Don't forget, we do still have the three sun and moon burning shadows packs. The Galartin. All sleeved up. There we go. And for another one. Maybe today all the good pulls will be closer to the back. Oh gosh, I just can't get this open. Again. Oh, I don't have the greatest luck when it comes to opening packs. I have great luck when it comes to my pulls, but for some reason they don't want me in the packs to get those pulls. <laughs> this is the code card. And flip. And this is a bead. Again, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it's cool looking Pikachu. Uh, cool looking Pokemon, sorry. <laughs> almost said Pikachu there. And we have the Weeping Bell. The energy. Oh, now that pull. I like, I like that pull. We have the Victini V Max. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that card, guys. That is beautiful. I have a Victini V and the Victini Prism for my fire deck as I do play the card game not online i do play online as well but i'm more meaning like not online so be kind of cool maybe i'll throw them in there on my deck and use them as like a little backup type thing as for my victini <laughs> all righty flip and we have the sleeping onyx oh he's not sleeping never mind i thought he was sleeping he's awake we have the Mr. Mime. Have the Sizzlepeed. We have the Marowak. Oh, and we have the Your Fish, the Your Shifu V. Rapid. So that is awesome. We've done it once. Let's see if we can do it two more times. Got to get that Your Fishu V Max and that Your Shifu. Ah. Uh, V fuller and we'll have all three unless you know the rainbow would be okay too instead of the full art i wouldn't complain there but uh yeah there's the uh rapid all right that's awesome Alrighty, for another pack all right There we go. We have the Cherubi. We have Cubone. Mr. Mime. The Galarian Mr. Mime. <laughs> we have Marowak. And then we have that really super cool looking uh, Steelix. Like I said, it just looks very, yeah. Uh, very furious. Like. Almost like he's like angry, but also like set on a mission. Pack. Alrighty, let's see if maybe we can get some good pulls out of those ones too. This will be my first time opening Burning Shadows. I, it's kind of crazy. I've opened a lot more um, born than I have the English packs, you could say. <laughs> I've opened booster boxes and booster boxes of foreign but once in a while i'll go to walmart or like the local stores and grab a booster pack or something here and there which is what i did for this video as well the heat more with the runny nose onyx that is a rapid strike trainer we have the conqueror conk elder keep saying conqueror for some reason it's like putting the two together <laughs> Fourth last pack. All right. The timber. We have the 
Jellicant. We have a Rapid Strike Trainer. And again, the code card, because I keep forgetting to do that. It's almost like I keep getting myself excited for that last card, but that last card is technically not a card at all. <laughs> See a little bit of different colors, and I'm just like, <gasps> and I realize it's uh, me forgetting to put that extra card away. Alrighty. QR code. I guess that is the only downfall about doing the um, foreign boxes. You don't get as much, like you don't get the code cards or anything for the online games as long as much. You can from the Japanese boxes, but I haven't so much seen from the Korean. It would be kind of cool. Oh, that's awesome. We have the cork. Knight V Max. Alrighty. Again, I'm not 100% sure if I'm even pronouncing that right. Just before we uh, open those last few. We will go through the pulls of the day. Just what we've gotten so far. So we have the Corporate Knight. V Max, the Victini V Max, the Steelix Hollow, the Your Fish UV, the uh, that's a uh, Cherimim uh, Hollow, the Luxio Hollow, the Empoleon V Full Art. I'm not sure of his name, but a Hollow, another Luxio Hollow, another Steelix Hollow. We have the Mm. The Anaconda Hollow. I'm not sure of his name. The Octillery Hollow. The Cork Knight V. And the Necrozema V. Alrighty. Now, last two packs, guys. See if maybe these last two packs hold the last two. Your fish you. Or your shift food, sorry. I keep pronouncing that wrong. It's like almost a little bit of an odd name. It's different, that's for sure. Definitely different. There's the code card. And we have a weeping bell. Then the fish with the very big purple lips. We have a girder. We have a daughter. Oh, awesome! We have the Victini V. That's awesome. Well, it wasn't the Yoshifu, but on the other hand, we got the Victini V. Sweet. All right, we'll get him into a sleeve and into that pile. And the last pack of the Rapid Strike box. Which means the very last pack of the Battle Styles. But I will be getting more because I am going for pulling all of the good cards you can get out of the series. Which there isn't many, so I'm hoping we could do it. But yeah, let's see what's in this very last pack. Alrighty guys, there's the code card. Alright, that's uh, Ponard's uh, Evolve. My pile of cards just tumbled. Oh no. Alrighty. The Perugly. The Marowak. Oh sorry, Cubomb. The Trainer. And Mr. Rhyme. I guess his name is. Guys, there All we right. go. Alright. Now, on to the Burning Shadows, the Galartan, and the Breakpoint. So, I think I'm going to save the tin for last. We'll just put that up in that corner. And we'll do the breakpoint first. Alrighty. As I said, I don't open very many English packs. But, uh, oh, I'm kind of wondering what happens here. That's a little, uh, hmm. Okay. Weird. 
It's basically like it was already open. That's kind of weird. All right. Let's see. All right. There's a co-card. One, two, three. I have opened breakpoints before. I pulled a blue nurturing out of it before. So, yeah. The trainer. Kind of like how it's like the older style card. A drowsy. A petillo. A crookatot. A panchum. Rolling in the grass, having a ball of a time. A scorpy. Oh, that's kind of pretty. We've got a uh, reverse hollow uh, trainer. And then we have a bear thorn. That trainer is kind of cool looking. Alrighty, I'm gonna put it into a sleeve. All right, these ones are out over to the side. And for the burning shadows. So, we have three different packs. And let's open this one first. I do like how English packs open a little easier, in all honesty. The Korean style, or just foreign in general, don't tend to open very well. But yeah, alrighty. So the cool card. And again, it's a green co card, which in my last few videos I've been doing, and I think I'm going to continue doing it. If it's a white co card, I've been told, you could possibly potentially have a good pull. If it's a green co card, it uh, potentially might not be a good card. But we have it 100% uh, discovered if it's that's the 100% the truth or not. Just glops. Who's here? Hoot hoot. Lolan Bullpix. Very pretty looking Bullpix. Rolt. Lolan Grimer. Ooh, look at him. It's you know, some uh, yellow gunk out of his mouth. Kind of yucky looking. <laughs> and then a Sneasel. Ooh, we have a Reverse Hollow Soul Rock. A. Passman and the energy, which I just realized. We didn't get a energy out of the uh, breakpoint. Maybe they don't put energies into that one. We'll put him into a sleeve. I'm cross my fingers. I get one good pull out of these, at least out of the one of the English packs. So, it's kind of nice to get one English pull here and there. And again, green coat card. So I'm assuming it's not going to be a good card, but that's okay. We'll go. We'll go for it. All right. Inky. Dewpiter. Tangela. Hoot Hoot. Sandy Gast. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Oh, an escape rope. I totally forgot to do the uh, trick. That's why that one's in the middle. Yeah, the hollow escape rope. Butterfree. The energy. Oh, we have a Charmeleon. A Whirlipede. And Wobbuffet. Gotta remember to do that card trick. Getting so used to not having to with the other uh, set is just forgetting. Alright. So, for the last pack of the Burning Shadows. Please. One good card out of this set. Please, please, please. Well, let's see. Hmm, doesn't look promising. Let's just give that a little turn. Nice go card. Alright, Guzma. Super scoop up. I can't pronounce that. Crogrunk. Pansier. Magikarp. Mudbray. Lolan Ratatata. 
And we have a Reverse Hollow Knocked Owl. It's kind of cool looking. We have a Arcanid. I don't think I should pronounce that wrong, right? I'm not 100% sure though. And then the Energy. Oh, so we'll put him into a sleep. Because you never know, the Hollows and Reverse Hollows may in the future even. They still are at least worth in around 50 cents to a dollar. So, you know, always just want to keep the possible better cards good. So, uh, when I bought this, it did have like a little tear in here. I'm not exactly... I do know it's like, maybe they did that on purpose, but yeah. We'll give it an open. This is my first time opening one of the mini tins. I've opened the tins before, just not a mini tin. Alright. So, what is this? The Galar Mini Galar Mini Tin. You will get two Pokemon booster packs. Okay. One coin. And a card showing the Pokemon and the tin. Alright. That's kinda cool. Give it an open. We have a Blastoise. Pretty cool. I like that. Alright, so we have a Sun and Moon. They set. We have a Sun Shield Darkness Ablaze. Oh, that's what they meant by art card. Oh. A natural Pokemon card. Into one big picture. Hmm. Kind of cool for the wall. I thought they meant, like, they had, like, you know, maybe like a hollow of it or something but, all right get that out of the way all right let's see if we got anything good mm, let's open these center moon first all righty and the green coat card i'm assuming it's probably not but we'll see all right yeah. oh maybe i should uh, take the truck first there we go energy retrieval uh, Croc Cronk. A Cron. I can't pronounce that. I'm so sorry, guys. Dratini. A Lillipup. A Bound Sweet. A Psyduck. Litten. Oh, we have a Reverse Hollow Litten. And a Bruxish. Oh, it's the Big Little Fish. Well, at least I now know the name of it, right? <laughs> a Bruxish. Again, it's got really big purple lips. Just like the Korean one. <laughs> I'll put Litten into a sleeve just in case. Alrighty, guys. The last pack of the day. Let's see. Got anything good. Doesn't look like it. So I'm kind of getting that, you know, the green co-card, white co-card trick is kind of true. Gullet. Phoebus. Purloin. Hippopotamus. I think I pronounced that right. Kind of weird looking. Centret. Uh, Simsage. Gothitelle. The Energy. Pokemon's Breeder Nutrient. And Krabuskin and Staravia. Oh, there wasn't any type of uh, hollow in this pack. Hmm. Oh, wait, yes, there was. Never mind. Simsage was the reverse hollow. Alrighty, guys. So, get him into a sleeve. So, get him into a sleeve. And we'll show off the pulls of the day. So, we have the Simsage, the Litten, the Knocked Owl, the Escape Rope, the Soul Rock, and the Bursting Balloon. And then to get to the Battle Styles, we have the Victini V. We have the... The Corvic Knight V. <laughs> the Octillery. I'm not exactly sure what his name is. We have the Santa Cobra, Condra, sorry. We have the 
Delux. Delux. Deluxio. Not sure. The Empoleon V Full Art. The Deluxio again. We have the Cherim. We have the Your Fish Shoe. Your Shift Shoe, sorry. V. We have the Steelix again. We have the Big Teeny V Max. We have the Cork Knight V Max. And we have the Nekozama V. Alrighty, guys. So, as I said, that was the end of the video. Um, I hope you liked it, and I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.